Hello, everyone. How are we today? They are looking at Joey Lott, and I am speaking. Hi, everybody. It's really nice to see you. Nice to be seen as well. And uh, today, well, first of all, as Hanan said, I'm Joey Lott, and Hanan is Hanan, and we, we are two teachers of awakening, and we've come together to share with you um, a really revolutionary process of awakening, and that's what we're all about, is sharing with you that it's actually possible for you to wake up in your life. And what do we mean by wake up? What we mean is to actually discover the truth of who you are. And that might seem a little bit funny because, yeah, you'd say, well, I already know who I am. But if you look, you'll see that who are you really? Are you your thoughts, your ideas, and your body, and your, the sensations, and the images, and all this stuff that comes and goes? Or is it possible that the, the you who you really truly are is something that's not graspable by the mind, not something that you can identify and package up? And that's what we're inviting you to discover. And when you discover this, this changes everything. It's so important because until you discover this in your direct experience, <coughs> inevitably there will be suffering in your life. Now that suffering might be small or it might be big. Your, your life might be working really well or it might not be working well at all. But no matter what, until you recognize moment to moment the truth of who you are, there will be this underlying anxiety because you'll be running from some core unmet sense of what seems to be other, what seems to be alien, what seems to need to get got, be getting, gotten rid of or changed or fixed. And most of us have gone our whole lives trying to get rid of and fix this, but it's possible through this direct inquiry that we share, which we call access points, that you can awaken to this truth that's beyond the mind. And that's what we say really truly that real meditation, real awakening, real enlightenment is a very, very simple thing. It's shifting attention out of the mind and allowing attention to rest in the recognition of yourself as awareness. Which and is why we, we call this show Accessing Oneness and Living Inner Peace. Because we know that that is fully possible for you. That it is truly possible to access oneness. If you access oneness, what is oneness? It's everything. It's already whole, complete. And that's you. The core of you is already connected. Already perfect as it is. The only thing that distorts that perfection is an idea from your mind that says it's not perfect. So the meaning, the concepts that your mind says about what is actually here right now occurring in your life, right? So it's your relationship to your circumstances, your relationship to yourself, you and your relationship to other people, relationship to your job. And that's all based on what the me, the story of me says is occurring based on the meaning and the interpretation and the perspective. And what we constantly are doing is we're constantly hooked in our mind. So we actually go around life believing that we are what our mind says we are, that we are what we think we are, right? There's, there's that famous uh, philosophy quote that, you know, I think therefore I am. So that, that thing's got things kind of twisted because if you think therefore you are, now, that means the reliance upon you existing and being would be based on thought. So if you can directly notice for yourself if that's true or not, you can actually notice that you are already here, being, that you're alive, that in this moment right now, do you have to do anything to exist? And the shift out of your mind from what the mind is labeling, dissecting, compartmentalizing, what it's ripping apart ultimately is to keep itself safe and to keep itself as me, to keep perpetuating the idea that I think and therefore I am. Yeah. So it operates completely in this separation paradigm that we talk about, the separation paradigm in that you have to do something to be something, right? You have to do to have to be. And awakening, discovering that which is already here 
which at this point, most of you have all know that it's already here. Be here now. So we talked about another video, if you want to listen to that, about how to really be here now. But we have to recognize that it's the belief in the mind and it's labeling, dissecting, and analyzing of this moment that creates the reactivity, the emotion, the struggle, and the suffering of your life. So each of these videos we come at you with you in this show, Accessing Oneness and Living Inner Peace, truly that is our intention for you, is for you to discover that you can access oneness anywhere, anytime. And that is when it becomes truthful for you. You see, it's not based on being with us, being with a certain teacher, doing a certain practice, getting it right. That if you actually can access oneness anywhere, anytime, no, regardless of what is occurring in life, regardless of what the mind is saying, regardless of the emotion or sensation, then you know that you've discovered oneness because oneness is everywhere. And so and today, we're really talking about the radical shift out of survival animal, that it's possible to not live from survival anymore and to live from here. And our, our, our greatest tool of doing that is to share with you looking at concepts and things that we think we know right? So myths and spiritual concepts that we have learned that then become co-opted by the mind and get in the way. And this process are all parts of what we call access points, the modern life meditation plan. After combined, uh, what, 30, 40 years of being on this journey together and facilitating for many years, thousands of people shifting out of their mind and awakening, we were able to really get it down to a system over eight weeks where we help people shift out of their mind over and over again. And as you shift out of your mind over and over again, instead of you being about your mind, which is about separation, labeling, dissecting in the future, based on the past, always trying to be safe, all of a sudden you're accessing oneness over and over again, then what are you actually doing? Where's your attention then all of a sudden? Your attention is with what's here already. You don't have to get here. You don't have to do anything to awaken. You have to unsee, unlearn on the identified, but not get rid of. It's so key. We're not talking about getting rid of thoughts or getting rid of the ego. There's actually an inclusiveness that happens that really allows you to be you. So today is my birthday. And if I had any wisdom to share in my 50 years now on this planet, it would be this. Is your life a celebration? So what do I mean by that? It doesn't mean, is your life always happy? Is your life always blissful? Because life has challenges. Life has ups and downs, doesn't it? It's the immaturity of the idea that we'll get rid of being human. Get rid of how life is. In order to find freedom, you now have to get rid of something. Freedom doesn't need to get rid of anything. Freedom is already including everything. And can, can I just want to interject there because that's so important to understand that freedom really truly is inclusive i mean it's so obvious when we take a look but most of the time we overlook that and so you can see how we create the conditions for celebration we can create the conditions for freedom we create the conditions for okayness and we're overlooking the celebration the freedom the okayness that's already here and that's the choice that's the choice that's so important to to recognize because until we recognize that choice we think Oh, you know, uh, the circumstances of my life are just dictating that this is not going to be celebration. Yesterday was celebration because that was good. But today, no, nah, today's not celebration because right. it's raining or because I'm feeling bad or because somebody said something to me or whatever. And yes. we, we can start to see that, that, that we actually have a choice. And the choice is not to create the circumstances that our mind tells us are necessary for it to be celebration, but rather we can choose to recognize the celebration that's already taking place. And that's so important because that, you know, people are really interested in empowerment, right? There's a lot of people who are in interested in, in empowerment. And what they're often overlooking is that we have this massive power, the massive power of life that is at the core of our being that we can access in any moment. And that, that's a choice. And that's the choice to recognize that so that we we really are truly empowered, really, when we wake up to this, that we get to choose celebration. I mean, think about that. That's awesome. You don't have to be, just because it's, 
just because somebody looks at you in a certain way or so because you're you got you owe a whole bunch of money or you lost your job or you know any number of things that we could say no that's not going to be a celebration we actually get to choose moment to moment where our attention is and if our attention is on mind then if mine's not on board then oh i guess i'm a victim today but if we are if, through this process of access points over and over in our life, we just inquire in this simple, simple way. And we start to discover in our direct experience, and that's so important, we discover directly that what's always here, what's always supporting us, what's always actually celebrating us, celebrating through us, celebrating our life, celebrating life through us. That's awakening. That's awakening to who you are. And that gives you everything that you've ever looked for, everything in its purest, most awesome form, because you're not seeking for it. You're discovering it here directly now. Yes. So beautiful. So what is it for you to actually take a moment because you may be judging based on what's occurring in your life that there's nothing that justifies celebration, right? So on my birthday, what I can share with you is that it's truly possible to appreciate your own life. It's truly possible to appreciate life itself from here, not based on any qualifications of what the mind says or society told you or anything tells you of how it's supposed to look. What happens instead of you trying to love what is, which is beautiful, but that becomes another thing the mind has to do in order to be okay here. What happens when you truly awaken to allowing yourself to celebrate that you are here. So take a look at like a birthday. You, you, you were born. I was born. You know, what are we really celebrating? We're celebrating that your life is here in this plane, on this planet, in other people's lives. Like you arrived, you're here. And until you're not, you seem to keep being supported by the waves and particles, by the atoms and molecules, by spirit, God, whatever it is that you call that. You seem to still be held together. You seem to be here and you touch on others. Whether you try to or not, you affect people for positive or negative, but you touch on others. So we have to take a look at this route. Was your life a mistake? It's like one in billions that you would even be a human being, right? And a split second different and the whole big bang doesn't occur. There's no universe. So we hear that spiritual notion that there are no mistakes, but it just becomes like another cutesy thing. So for a moment right now with me, please, on my birthday, just take a breath for a moment. Just recognize that breath is here. You're alive. And the mind will always say, yeah, but, and it's all the objections and problems of what it seems that life is about. That's not good enough. Cause you think you got to be somewhere else and it should look a different way but it's always unfolding right here, right now, how it is. So recognize that you are first. And if you recognize that you are first, you live as what is, with what is, receiving what is. So what if you just celebrate yourself right now? Just that you are you. Just that you have arrived. That you've been given to this world. And maybe your life's not about you even. Maybe... It's much bigger than that. And all it takes, ironically, to be free and to allow your life to affect others in a very profound way is the first and foremost honor what's already been given to you. Life. Isn't that a celebration in itself? Before your mind says, yeah, but, and all the reasons why it's not. Like recognize that maybe the mind says, yeah, but, and, all the reasons why life isn't here to celebrate. Now, celebrate doesn't have to be woohoo. To really celebrate yourself is to have self-respect, self-love. 
for what's already been given. That you're breathing, your heart is beating, you're here. And they say, you know, put God first. That's putting God first. To really receive the gift of your life that when you first arrived, that's what we celebrate on a birthday, isn't it? We celebrate you. And in every moment, you're being recreated. Every moment, waves and particles. Every moment now is being chosen by consciousness. And you can join in that space of allowing by honoring that you are. Receiving life is given by celebrating that without any reason. That's what it really is to live in joy, in celebration. So I want to invite you to celebrate yourself and to take a look at the possibility that, you know, they say the universe has my back becomes another, maybe a spiritual notion, but to really take a look at what if the whole life isn't actually happening to you or against you, but what if it was all happening for you? Not for you just to get everything you want, but everything was happening for you to be true, to be free, to be real, to be divinely connected, to live from the greatest expression of yourself. And see, and that, go ahead, John. And I would just say, and if that seems ever seems like too much, right? Is if that if, if the mind objects to that, just recognize that right now, whatever your mind has to say about it, the fact is you're here. And to be is a gift, just to be. Because no matter what your mind has to say about it, you have to recognize that you're breathing. Your heart is beating. You have this amazing capacity and this gift to exist, to explore, to be creative, to be curious, to have desire. It's all given totally freely. You don't ever have to go seeking for that. It's already here. And that, that we can all tap into. We can all recognize that prior to whatever the mind has to say. It's fine if the mind has its commentary because of course it does. That's its job. But we can recognize this gift of our life that's here before that and during that and after that. That's always here. So how do we flip to actually recognizing that life is actually always supporting ourselves? That it's actually here for you. That universe has literally got your back, right? Well, first we take a look at our entire lives and look at, we have all these ideas of what occurred in our life that was bad. And we have to take responsibility for all of it. We have to look and see throughout your entire life, were you always there? Whether you were aware of it or not, was there ever a moment in your past life? We do this in exercise, the past now moment exercise. We do it several times in access points. We actually look back at any moment in your life and just look. Thoughts come and go, feelings come and go, perspective, how you look, but that you are there, that you are being, that you exist has always been there. Now, you can just take what I said and move on with your life and that won't serve you. You have to be really willing to investigate this. That's inquiry. It's a shift of attention to really take a look right now. And even in the past, you can look. What is always here that doesn't come and go? And wouldn't it just be clear that that's what you can bank on? Something that is always here, always supporting you, holds everything where it is, allows everything. Is that more bankable and worthy of complete trust than thoughts, than emotions, and sensations that are fleeting, that give you temporary something, and they give you a thing? Recognize directly. So you look back on your life and you see that you've always been being. And perhaps all of life was just the setup evolving you. Like they say, sometimes you're here as a soul, like having a human experience. You're not a human having a spiritual experience. So the whole journey was the perfect setup for your awakening. And that's why you're hearing us now. If you're still in this video now, it's because something in you says, yes, I'll receive that reflection because that's the truth. I know it. I know that's true. You don't need us to tell you it. You already know that's true. 
something in you already says yes, because you're ready. So you have to look at your entire life and say, I chose my life. And recognize you chose your life because that which is being, that which is one with everything has chose every moment. Was there ever a moment where your cells weren't communicating? Your heart wasn't beating? Perhaps for a moment if you had a problem, but then it started back again or you wouldn't be here. So the basis of receiving the gratitude that we exist, we, we throw that in the toilet. We, we just, the mind and its concerns of the future and how it's going to look and how it's not going to look. It's not until people are on their deathbed where they recognize, oh God, all that stuff was a waste of time. And maybe if they're lucky, after all the regret they may have, they can let go of it all and have peace as they transition. But the opportunity right now isn't just a practice of gratitude exercise about external things or about yourself, because that's still you, separate you having to be grateful to yourself. Just right now, notice that you're here. What if you start to explore that? How much time have you explored outward? And how much time, if you've been a practitioner, have you meditated, exploring inner, but it's based on separation still. The separate you is going to do its meditation to have that opening feeling to be more peaceful. And does it last? So what is already lasting? That which is already here. So simple it sounds even simple, but the mind will disregard that simplicity. And I promise you it is that simple. Your DNA is unlike any other. So you don't have to wait till a birthday to celebrate you. You receive you by receiving life. And then you're celebrating life. Celebrating you. The gift that you've been given that you are. And yes, Life has challenges. Yes, life has ups and downs. But when you're here to receive all of it, then it moves from the delusion, the suffering, the struggle to the dance. Like up the roller coaster, down the roller coaster, taking the ride. Joe, I got to get the door, so. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to go here in a few minutes. All so right, so we'll I, say goodbye. Yeah, let's, want- say, so let's just say, we'll wrap it up for today. This is such an important uh, opportunity and such an important conversation that we would love to invite you. I would love to invite you, and I'm, I am inviting you, to join us for more of these conversations. And in fact, uh, if you're watching this live or you're watching this same day as we are uh, producing this, we have a public meeting this evening, and um, that meeting is called uh, we are calling that. What is the title of that, Hanan? Do you remember? Oh, you're. So, so we have. First of all, tonight we have a bonus, which is oh, tonight. Yeah, tonight? I'm sorry. Yeah. Tomorrow. It's okay. Tomorrow. So, just to clarify, tonight, tonight we have a bonus um, workshop, which we've created to support people in the preliminary of <coughs> getting ready for access points. Now, access points, the modern life meditation plan, as far as we're concerned, and everyone who goes through it is concerned. You can look at testimonials on brianmark.com forward slash access points, brianmark.com forward slash access points. We have made it, it this scientific. We have a process for you that you just got to show up, apply the results will happen in your daily life. You will live from freedom. You will live celebrating yourself like we're talking about, right? I was just talking with uh, one of our past students and who's finally met what she didn't even realize she was running from of unworthiness deep down has meeting it so deeply that she's never known such peace and release. Why? Because we are unknowingly pushing away and running from something so fearful, or many of you are aware of that maybe now in your gut that there's something that's off or not right or wrong. And we spend our lives trying to fill that. <clears throat> when you become aware, you stop pushing things away you're willing to really meet everything here. Like we said, because it's all included. It's all got your back. It's all supporting you. So what happens instead of the thoughts pulling you away or the emotion that pops up saying bad, you actually let that emotion be a signal to have a true meeting with emotion. A true meeting with emotion. 
So tonight we have the great allowing bonus. You can sign up at access points. I'm sorry, brianmark.com forward slash access points and join us for access points where over eight weeks we activate you in an access point process that takes less than a minute to do in life. No one knows you're doing it and you shift out of your mind. And as you see the patterns that keep you identified and you shift over and over again, we've set it up in this way that they start to stack upon themselves. And before you know it, it's just clear that you can access oneness anywhere. At the very least, no one doesn't discover that. The freedom's here now. You can access it anywhere, anytime. So that in itself means that you are done with suffering. You're done with anxiety. You're done with stress. Not that it might not appear, but instead of reacting from it, the inclusiveness of it allows it to be not what your mind says it is in meaning. Yeah. Right? Not what the reaction of the me story says about it. But you actually allow everything to be here and you have a deeper discovering that it's all supporting you. It all really does have your back. It really all is here for you and you're here for it. We're here for each other. If this is all occurring and the transformation that you know you're ready for, that we know the world is ready for. So we, we call you to take responsibility for your awakening. We really mean that. To step up on that you that says, yes, whether I'm fearful or not, enough is enough enough of the suffering. I'm ready for freedom. It has to happen here first with you for it to happen for everybody. And we have a training that says we'll guarantee you have 14 days to step out of the program. We'll guarantee that you can awaken to living from yourself, a whole new way of living life, living from being you as opposed to living from the mind. All right. So tonight you can join us by going to brianmark.com forward slash access points. You can sign up for the program there and read about it, watch testimonials. On Sunday night, April 28th, we are starting Access Points. It's an eight-week course. Joey and I give you our daily attention there. You can contact us. We talk. We communicate. We meet twice a week. You have full support. So you'll see all about the program there. And then tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, you can go to brianmark.com forward slash oneness. Okay? Again, we'll have that in the link below brianmark.com forward slash oneness. We have another public meeting in these series of public meetings and meetings and oneness that we've been doing. And we'll be taking a look at what it is to really live a peaceful life. What is it to live a peaceful life and no longer be in the war of struggle? So we'll recognize that the war is in our mind. And when the war ends here, the war ends out there. It's all reflection. So Joey's got to go. He has a session he's jumping into. I'm going to go pick up my daughters on my birthday to celebrate a little bit. So the truth is my birthday only reflects to me that your life is valuable and worthy of celebration. All right. So you've arrived and I've arrived and we're here together somehow connected if you're hearing us. So jump aboard if you'd like to look at mentorship with us. Uh, you have nothing to lose for two weeks. You can try this out, but it will monumentally transform your life like never before and never again, because once you awaken is the beginning, stabilizing that awakening, and then to live in the ascension of the expression of who you are is always new and always fresh. And that transformation will just never end. That's the evolution of consciousness. That's the, the, the edge of the comet that's propelling itself through all of existence. It's the stars in the sky being held together, your cells communicating, and it's your own breath right now. So I celebrate you and look forward to seeing you soon. That's a love. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.